सो दिस इज द सेकेंड डे ऑफ माई अबा श्री टू शिरे तो को बाइसिकल राइड एंड आई स्टेड ऑन माई सेकेंड नाइट एट द बेस्ट यूथ हॉस्टल एवर कुशारो गेनिया यूथ हॉस्टल लेट मी गिव यू अ लिटिल क्विक टूर ऑफ दिस प्लेस देर वॉज द लिटिल रीडिंग कॉर्नर एंड ऑल देयर रूम्स सो अमेजिंग कोजी कंफर्टेबल दे आर नेम्ड आफ्टर स्टार्स लाइक स्पीका वेगा एंड माई रूम वॉज नेम्ड सीरियस आफ्टर सीरियस ब्लैक हियर इट इज वेल इट वॉज नॉट आफ्टर सीरियस ब्लैक just kidding this is orion they have a huge dome going right from first floor to the third floor and so spacious so airy so amazing the hosts are a japanese family the owner used to be a chef before and he cooks the meal that he serves here by himself it was so delicious and they also arrange kayak tours and boat tours to see you know early morning sunrise and i went on this unkai tour with them just before i recorded this video to see a sea of clouds that you will see soon and i think i'm definitely going to come back to this place just to stay here a little more and enjoy this serene calm surroundings you are at the holy temple the same place where we were exactly yesterday and the only difference is the view is awesome We are here to see Unkai. That is the sea of clouds. beautiful unkai sea of clouds since i had woken up super early in the morning for this sea of clouds tour i had a couple of hours to spare before i headed on my ride so i decided to go to a nearby attraction called kotan onsen this is an open air onsen near the lake kusharo and this was my first ever time going to an open air free onsen okay so i'm in the changing room of this onsen and uh, this is pretty small like only one person or maybe two people can change at the same time and swimming in the nude is not allowed in this lake so basically that's right there and the water is not too not too hot it's just like lukewarm and uh, between the men's section and women's section there's this rock so there is a privacy and it's beautiful amazing I'm gonna show you my room from a different angle. This is the upper floor, and this is how it looks down. And also, there's a wash basin. The only thing that it's not there included in this room is a toilet. So you have to use the common one below. I'm ready to go. I look like a Taliban 
Executioner. So it's 8.43, much much later than what I thought I would leave at. But here I am in this beautiful Kusharu Lake Crater. We are, yesterday we got to know in this guest house of ours that we are in fact inside the crater of this caldera. Because this Kusharu Lake and the Mashu Lake that we are going to go to now, they are both formed by volcanic activity. proceed on Lake Mashu. I'm just taking this small stop just to get some artificial protein. <laughs> now I'm good to go. So I must have come some one kilometer from Teshi Kaga towards Mashuko. Three kilometers from three and a half kilometers from the main observatory. Yes. So. Yo. So my butt heavy bicycle is kind of really difficult to climb with so I'm just pushing it now because see front wheel is so light and the back wheel has all that luggage on it that too it is not really properly distributed on both sides which I can do with two pannier bags but I have just one I was just thinking how the hell I completed Khardum La Pass that was almost two and a half kilometer elevation in a span of 38 kilometers. Oh my god. Ah, I can see something. Yo, Saigo da yo. We are at Mashuko right now. Isn't it a beautiful lake? This is another caldera lake which was formed sometime around 7000 years ago, they say. And there is no uh, external water which is added to this lake, or, uh, rather, no organic matter which is added to the lake. So, no pollutants. So the water is extremely clear and amazingly blue and today I'm blessed with this blue sky so it's amazing, it's just more than what I asked for. Although it was so, so tiring to bring the bicycle all the way up the slope to this point. But last 20-25 minutes that I have been just standing here and staring at this lake, it's been just amazing.